Welcome to Alei the Reds. Alei the Reds is here to accompany your best time with the latest information about the Reds Liverpool. Watch until the end and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the latest videos. According to sources contacted by Get Italian Football News, the 22-year-old's impressive performances at Genoa have attracted attention from Liverpool. The Reds are keeping tabs on the Danish midfielder, with the English club said to be observing him closely. Since joining the Italian club in early 2022, Morten Frendrup has impressed with his solid midfield performances, playing a key role in Genoa's promotion to Serie A. His skill set has caught the attention of Liverpool, a club renowned for identifying and nurturing promising talent. Frendrup has since emerged as a crucial player for the Italian side. Statistically, he is a fantastic defensive midfielder, as only Fulham's Joao Palinha has completed more tackles than his 75 in Europe's Big Five European leagues this term. Default text Italian journalist Gianluca Di Marzio has now provided his take on Frendrup's future. While he has confirmed that several Premier League clubs are tracking the player, which will undoubtedly include Liverpool, they will all have to wait until the summer as Genoa do not want to lose any more vital stars after the departure of Radu Dragasen. Genoa have sold Radu Dragasen to Tottenham, and they are not going to say goodbye to more top players until this summer. Here I am thinking of Morten Frendrup and Albert Gudmundsson, who are two of Genoa's absolute top players, Di Marzio said in an interview with Danish source Tipsbladet. There will be interest from the Premier League and major Italian clubs. They like Frendrup and the fact that he never misses a game. He delivers steadily and well every single time. This is the kind of player any coach would like to have on his team. I would like to believe that Genoa will not sell him for less than 15 million euros 13m, he added. They will probably try to get 20, 726m, but that is probably set to high. He lacks the ability to score goals, and therefore I would think that 15 million euros is a fair price for Frendrup. In today's market, a fee of just under £13 million would appear to constitute a bargain for a player of that age who's already made 165 senior appearances and is playing regularly in the Italian top flight. Even if Frendrup mightn't go straight into Liverpool's starting lineup, the sheer number of matches that the Reds play in a typical season would offer enough scope for rotation so that he'd get a fair chance to prove himself and that's even before injuries forced Jurgen Klopp's hand. Liverpool's interest in Frederick is a testament to their strategic scouting and recruitment approach under Jurgen Klopp. The club has consistently sought out emerging talents, transforming them into key team players. This strategy has seen Liverpool evolve players who were not considered elite before joining, into top performers under Klopp's guidance. In his 14 appearances across various competitions, Frendrup has demonstrated a remarkable versatility and an aptitude for playmaking, racking up four assists. This versatility extends to his ability to perform as a central or defensive midfielder, boasting 50 games in this role. Frendrup's youth, coupled with his impact in Serie B and now Serie A, aligns perfectly with Liverpool's philosophy of developing young talents into stars. While Liverpool already boasts a strong midfield lineup, the demanding nature of modern football necessitates depth and versatility. Frendrup's ability to adapt to various midfield roles could be crucial in a grueling season. His potential addition to the squad offers a blend of youthfulness and experience, which is valuable for any top-tier team. Frendrup's chart is a testament to his defensive tenacity. In the realms of interceptions and tackles, he ranks in the 99th and 88th percentile respectively, among midfielders. This suggests an aggressive approach to regaining possession, a trait that would undoubtedly resonate with the high-pressing style of the Premier League. His ability to read the game and disrupt opposition play is illustrated by the exceptional percentile rank in these defensive metrics. Possession-wise, 
Frederip's stats reflect the player who's comfortable on the ball, evidenced by his pass completion percentage and progressive passes. His decent percentile rank in touches ATD pen implies a midfielder not shy of venturing forward, integrating into attacks and looking to break lines with decisive movements. The attacking aspect of Frendrup's game is highlighted by his percentile rank in assists and shot-creating actions, which outshine his more modest showing in non-penalty goals. This indicates a midfielder who's more of a facilitator than a finisher, an architect in the shadow, orchestrating plays rather than crowning them. In a data-driven era, Morden Frederick's performance stats offer a promising glimpse into his capabilities. With the right nurturing environment, these run numbers hint at a player with the potential to evolve into a central figure in any top-tier side. Credits to FBREF for providing such comprehensive data, allowing for an analytical perspective on player performance that's both insightful and integral in today's game. Jurgen Klopp is reportedly looking to sign two new centre-backs over the next two transfer windows, and David Henko has emerged as a top target having impressed for the Eredivisie side since his £7 million move from Sparta Prague in the summer of 2022. A statement from Henko's agent, cited in a Czech media outlet, confirms the dialogue between his client and Liverpool, suggesting a possible shift to Anfield for the Slovak defender but not likely until the summer. The link doesn't come as a surprise given Liverpool's knack for shoring up their defence with tactically astute, physically robust players. Henko a ball-playing left-sided centre-back models himself on Liverpool captain Virgil van Dijk and claims he felt some of his invisibility last season for Feyenoord. At 26, Kenko's age sits perfectly within the bracket of experience and potential growth, crucial for a club looking to maintain a balance of youth and maturity. Almost a solid Joel Matip replacement you could argue. His presence has been a constant for Feyenoord, racking up 17 appearances in the current season and showcasing his versatility across the backline. Notably, his international experience isn't lacking either, with 16 caps for Slovakia. Comparing Henko to Liverpool's current defensive stalwart, Ibrahima Konet provides a glimpse of what the Slovak might bring to the team. Both players boast impressive defensive stats, but Henko's ability to win aerial duels stands out, and not in the best way, with a success rate of 56.3%. However, his tackling and blocking numbers are decent, with 13 tackles and 12 blocks in the Eredivisie. These figures suggest a player who could complement Liverpool's defensive strategies, particularly in physical duels and critical interceptions, but you'd be slightly concerned about him aerially. The financials of football are always under scrutiny, and Henko's moves is no exception. With a current market valuation of 35 million euros by Transfermark and a contract not expiring anytime soon, the fee could be substantial. His wages, while undisclosed, would need to align with Liverpool's wage structure, but shouldn't be an issue if we did pull the trigger. Will Schmacke and Klopp make Frendrup the long-term solution for Liverpool's midfield in the future? And can Hanko be the right alternative backline recruit for the Reds? Let's share your opinion in the comments below.